How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Waffle Rallet, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at specifically a actually big piece of information and news for Pokemon, but also uh, some other stuff. So just sit back, relax, and grab yourself a beverage. And of course, today's video is brought to you again by our giveaway of Pokemon Legends Arceus over on Momo Board. If you guys want to have a chance of winning the game, simply go and join Momo Board on PC or mobile. You can download the app and just click the link down below to get full details on how to be a part of this giveaway. We're giving away three copies, yes, three copies of this game. So there's quite a lot of them, to say the least. And uh, yeah, I just simply wanted to point that out and mention it to you guys as we're going to be giving them away. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to join in, simply click the link in the description down below. And that's about it. Now, let's get into the information, shall we? Starting things off with this right here. So, officially from Pokemon Go, in the next Pokemon Go season, we'll look to the past for answers that will help guide us into the future of Pokemon Go. Join us as we take our Pokemon Go adventure into the season of heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's happening. Even Pokemon Go is going to have Hisui stuff in it. Um, I mean, look, it's literally Mount Coronet um, in the distance. There's got to be, as far as I can tell. Uh, and then it looks like also the uh, the Pokemon Tower, if I'm, unless I'm wrong here, uh, from Johto, seemingly as well. But yeah, the next season of Pokemon Go is going to be, uh, you know, Legends Arceus related. It seems like the case. And even Serebii posted saying, Serebii update, the new Pokemon Go season has been announced. Season of Heritage. Uh, and if we look at the actual, uh, you know... I guess, post here. It doesn't really say much about what it is, but it's clearly, pretty, pretty, pretty clearly um, guaranteed, okay, that this game is going to include his student films. They're going to definitely include it, like Pokemon Heritage. I mean, come on, they're going to feature Pokemon from the past. Um, and yeah, there's not really much else to say about that. I think uh, here it is, Niantic have been announced, have announced the next Pokemon Go season. The season of Heritage started December 1st through March 1st. At present, no further details have been revealed. We'll provide full details as they come. And you know what's funny? You know what this confirms to me right here? This to me confirms Gen 9 for next year. And you know why? Gen 9 or Let's Go Johto, okay? Or like a Johto remake. You know why? Look at when this season of this stuff starts and when it ends. It starts on the 1st of December, which is, by the way, also when the promotional cycle is going to get cook, kick in fully now for Legends Arceus. But guess when it ends? March 1st. Now, let me make something very clear to you guys. March 1st is literally right after Pokemon Day, okay? March 1st is right after Pokemon Day. Because Pokemon Day is around, what, the 27th to 28th. March 1st is right after that. Why the hell would they end the promotion with clearly Legends Arceus? Pokemon Heritage, Pokemon Go Season of Heritage, it's clearly, clearly connected to Legends Arceus. Come on, it can't be connected to anything else. It has to be re related to that, okay? Undeniably, has to be related to that. So why in the world, why would it end on March the 1st, which is when, literally, when Pokemon Day is done, the day after it, okay? Why in the world would that happen? I, I don't know. I have no idea, but... To me, it seems, personally, that this is enough to prove that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, um, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, this is enough in my mind to prove that Legends Arceus is only going to last until the end of February in terms of promotions. After that, they're moving on to the next thing. I mean, seriously, think about it. It's not that surprising. It releases at the end of January, okay? What, the 29th? Something along those lines. Releases on the 29th. It does its thing for about a month sells enough copies and moves further. You know what I mean? Moves on to the next thing. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl sold a shit ton in the beginning now. They actually outsold, I think, Sword and Shield in like first week sales in Japan as well. Um, really performed well, all right? But guess what? They're already moving on to the next thing. They're already moving on to the next thing, the next agenda, the next like, you know, thing now, which is Legends Arceus promotion. That's the next thing, right? And it's barely been a month. It's not even been a full month, but they're clearly going to move over now and move on to Legends Arceus because they don't need to do more promotion. BDSP is going to sell what it sells, and the same thing's going to happen with Legends Arceus. It will sell what it sells, and they're going to move on to promote the next thing next year. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pretty certain that next year we're getting another game after Legends Arceus at the end of next year. I feel it. I might be wrong. I might be super wrong. There might be DLC for Legends. I don't know. But I think they're going to move away and move forward to the next thing. That's just personally what I think. I might be wrong. And according to uh, Kilio says, um, I could be wrong about what it says here, but I think he's saying that like uh, there's a trailer incoming um, that's going to be happening soon. But uh, yeah, as you can see right here, um, it's relating to Pokemon Go. The next season has been announced, the season of Legacies or, you know, season of Heritage and whatnot. And yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if this all connects well to this post right here, which we've talked about before. But there is a hidden trailer 
Uh, there's a hidden trailer over on Pokemon, uh, you know, Legends Arceus, the Asian channel. And also there's a hidden video on the uh, official Pokemon channel uh, in the news section. There's a hidden video. We don't know what it is, but it's there. It's hidden and it's clearly hinting at something. So ladies and gentlemen, I think we're getting a trailer soon. I think we're getting a trailer very soon. And I think that... Legends RC is not going to last as long as you might seem, okay? Um, as it might seem. Some of you might disagree with me, and that's totally fine. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below about specifically this topic and what you all think about it. So let me know down there if you guys feel differently. I'd love to know and hear your thoughts and opinions. But let's move on to the next thing. So this is something that Soul Silver Art posted, which is, uh, you know, kind of like a, a nice, like, image that he uh, got sent by someone, um, which compiles a lot of information into a singular post about all of the different, like, you know, things we've seen, like, you know, all the Pokemon from all the images, etc., and all of that. Uh, unfortunately, I can't seem to get an image that's, like, clear enough from this. I would love to give you guys an image that's, like, got everything in it, like, properly and doesn't, you know, look any, I guess, how would you put it? Uh, HD, here it is. Actually, I didn't realize it converted HD. So here's the, here's the HD image of exactly what we're talking about here. Um, we're going to zoom in on it and see what we're talking about. So let's open it. And uh, let's zoom in. So, uh, going from the top left here, we have, first of all, this is like a breakdown from different people about everything, right? Uh, what each one of these Pokemon is and what it relates to and all that from the big riddle image. Uh, one of the first things, of course, up here is to do with, uh, you know, one of these starters, starter evolutions, in this case, a new evolution for Typhlosion, which relates to this image right here, which is image number one. Image number one it clearly hints at some sort of ghost type for Typhlosion that will have something to do with... Um, just ghosts, like a hundred different yokais. Uh, and it's specifically based, I think, on the Hyaki Yago, Yagyo, which is a night parade of 100 demons. Also, uh, it's um, and it's an idiom in Japanese folklore, sometimes an uh, orderly possess uh, proce procession, other times a riot. It refers to a parade of a thousand supernatural creatures known as the Oni and yokai marching through the streets of Japan at night is a terrifying eruption of the supernatural world into our own, literally connecting to the fire side of, you know, Typhlosion. The second image, we already know what that is. That was already clear, pretty obviously. That was Zoro and Zoroark with uh, Zoro and whatever the other girl is named. She's a ghost. He's a human, normal ghost, right? Um, and uh, also, of course, one of them being called Zoro, whatever, and literally Zoro and Zoroark. Instant connection. Number three, there is some speculation that it could be related to possibly um, something to do with uh, the uh, the like you know the weather trio. I guess if you want to call them that, uh, could be related to them. You can see Nihilego says three uh, new Pokemon. One of the post game contents. Uh, the Unova, Unova Genies, Thunderous, Landorus, and Tornadus are all called XX Cloud in Chinese. Thunder Cloud and uh, Ground Cloud and Hurricane Cloud. And this might have to do with the two hearts. You know, maybe being related to gender, I guess, in this case. Uh, but you can see down here, there is like another post that kind of goes a bit further into it, which I'm going to zoom into. So you can see what it actually says. So maybe possibly because of the four beasts of the cardinal direction from Chinese myth, we have a white tiger of the west, a zerg dragon of the east, vermilion bird of the south, and black turtle of the, the north. Uh, the colors uh, doesn't really match, but all the three existing forces of nature, we have Landorus as a tiger, Tornadus as a bird, and Thunderous as a dragon. There's uh, the only one with the matching colors. So going by this theory, the fourth one will be a turtle. Could be the case here, right? Could be the case. Um, fairy type genie has been known for a while, so probably, and the, apparently, uh, it's kind of unknown about it if you aren't following the Chinese leaks. Uh, it's um, a Therian form is going to be resemble a Therian, I don't know, I guess Hisuian, uh, resemble a turtle design, apparently. So it could be that we're getting uh, one of these bad boys, but I have to see if that happens or not. Uh, we continue on, though. Ladies and gents, we continue on to the next thing, which is a number. Where is it? Number four. Um, where's number four? Try to find them in the order that they are posted. Here it is. Number four, obviously, it's a Pokeball from Legends Arceus right above me here. And of course, that relates back to uh, the post that was posted by Chinese Riddler of a bunch of Pokemon candy and stuff. And one of the ones had Voltorb and Electrode on it. And we already know Voltorb Electrode made like uh, Pokeballs are made out of wood and Hisui, etc. They're going to be those bad boys. So you know that. The fifth one is a bit of a confusing one. It's this random girl over here. Uh, and that connects over down to this one down here, which could have to do with uh, the kind of split up Pokemon. Like there is like an inf like infinite hints for writable Pokemon, a noble Pokemon, final part, filling in the blanks. Uh, and then you got there, like, possibly that, uh, you know, five of them will be related to, you know, and being a noble Pokemon, with the other are writable Pokemon, right? So that might be the case here. Um, and there is talks about there being a lady Pokemon, and he seemingly specifically says, it seems that fans have nailed this one. So detailed breakdown goes. What she says and the color of the uh, Arezu's bracelet tell the type of that lady. Could this be connected to there being like a Liliganth uh, Evo or something? Um, 
as he specifically also points out up here that uh, unavailable Pokemon in Gen 8, hopefully they can shine in Gen 9, uh, that featuring specifically, uh, you know, a few different Pokemon. So we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens, what happens with that. Uh, we'll continue on, though, over to the next thing, which is, I think, number six. That's obviously the Sidueye. We've already kind of broken this one down. Uh, it's like one of the easier hints because uh, there's literally an image of like arrows that he posted, which clearly connects to a bow and arrow. Uh, the Sidueye definitely connects well to that. And of course, the Chinese Riddler more or less confirmed this a while back. So pretty much nothing more else to say about that. Uh, the Cactus one is the most confusing one, I would argue. It's the one that we have least logic on, but it seems like it could be hinting at a Quillfish uh, of some sorts, like a Steel type Quillfish. Could be happening. We'll have to wait and see. Um, then we also have, uh, what do we have else? What do we have else? Number eight, which this is a confusing one, okay? Number eight is extremely, extremely, extremely confusing. So number eight could be related in, to like, um, I guess an Evo for like, you know, Gudra, based on what being, is being said in Hilego. He says, eight is Gudra line, Dragon Steel type. I think this community doesn't deserve real leaks anymore. Let's keep them in place where it should be. Enjoy finding other ones, Pokemon fans. Ciao. So I think here he must have then officially confirmed it because that's what he said. So we'll see if that is the case or not, but we'll have to wait and, you know, see how that turns out. Number nine seems to relate to a Samurott, uh, you know, um, I guess new form, evolution, whatever you want to call it. Seemingly that's the case there. Uh, as for what it's going to be, it seems like it's about its new typing in this case. Uh, so maybe it's going to be some form of dark typing on that thing, I'm guessing, based on what I'm seeing here. But I don't remember exactly what it was again. Uh, number 10 seems to be Avalug. Number 11 is the writable Sneasel slash Weewall, like brand new Sneasel evolution, sorry. Number 12 is confusing because it could either be... So some people have thought about an Ursaring Evo. You knew what it was from the Thief, that's all. And then Centro was the one who posted Ursaring Evolution, it's writable. So is Ursaring getting a split evolution or a brand new evolution for Ursaring itself? We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for that list. Um, there is something down here as well about like what was posted by uh, Bull Guys Leaks, but I don't really know if we can take that as for granted or not, or if we should take any value from it. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. So ladies and gents, sorry if I missed anything. If you guys want to take a look at any of this stuff, it's going to be linked down below. I'll have a post on Mumma Board that links to all these things that I talked about. And that is that. Ladies and gents, thanks so much for watching. My name is Rolf Arell. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. And bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.